action. Welcome back to Experiment 10, Part C. In this part of the experiment, we're going to be measuring the absorbances of the solutions that we made previously in Part B, so our dilutions, and also we'll be measuring the absorbance of our Kool-Aid mixture that we made in Part A. So before we begin by measuring the absorbance, we have to do what's called blanking. Okay? So what I'm going to do is we have what's called a cuvette. The cuvette is what we're going to fill our sample with, and this is where the light is going to pass through the sample to measure the absorbance of that material. So we want to make sure we're only measuring the absorbance of the actual FD&C blue dye number one, so we want to subtract away any absorbance that the cuvette has and our solvent. And in our case, our solvent is deionized water. So when we blank our sample, we're going to be subtracting out any absorbance that this cuvette has. So now we want to make sure that we have no fingerprints anywhere on our cuvette because that could throw off our reading. So I'm going to wipe this down with a chem wipe first, okay? And then we will place this inside our instrument. We close the lid and we're going to hit our 0.00, .00 button. And what this is doing is this is blanking our sample. So we're subtracting any absorbance that the cuvette in the water may have. So it's going to set it to zero. It's thinking about it. Okay, so now notice the absorbance is 0, 0.00. So this is the absorbance of after we blanked it. Okay, now using the same cuvette, we're going to pour our solutions into our cuvette. And we always want to go from the least or the most dilute, okay, less concentrated to the most concentrated. So we're going to start with our solution one. And notice when we look at our cuvette, we have some residual water left in there. And we don't want to throw off our concentration. So one of the ways we can get rid of this is actually rinse our cuvette with the solution that we're going to be measuring the absorbance of. And we have plenty of solution. So we'll add some solution. We'll rinse out our cuvette. So now the only thing that's in there is just my solution. So that way we'll get an accurate absorbance of my first solution. Spilled a little bit there. It's okay. So we have our cuvette, our chem wipe. So we can wipe off any liquid that got on the surface. Okay. So we'll place it inside our instrument. That's done. Okay. Close our lid and it will measure our absorbance. So our first absorbance is 0 0.19. For this, is solution number one. Okay. Now we're ready to measure our next solution. Okay, so solution one is done. Okay, so let's... So now we have our second solution, but again, we wanna make sure we're only measuring the absorbance of our second solution. So we'll rinse out our cuvette with our second solution. And then we'll pour some in. So this way we're measuring the absorbance of just solution number two. So we'll place this in. And record our second absorbance of our solution number two, which is 0 0.38. And notice our absorbance does not have units. So we're done with solution two. So we're now ready for solution three. So my lovely assistant is passing my solutions to me. Okay. So same procedure, we're gonna rinse it first. Okay. We'll wipe it off. And notice when I'm holding the cuvette, I'm trying to always make sure my hands are towards the top of the cuvette and I'm not grabbing it down low. This will help prevent getting any oil and stuff trapped on that cuvette that will throw off our readings. So we'll place this in our spectrometer and we'll measure our absorbance of solution number three, which is 0 0.59. So we'll pour out solution number three and now we're ready to do our solution number four, the same procedure. 
So we'll rinse our cuvette with our solution. We'll wipe it down with our chem wipe. Place it in our spectrometer. And now we'll get the absorbance of our solution number four, which is 0 0.78. So now we're ready to do our last dilution. So we're doing solution number five. Following our same procedure, we'll rinse it out first. Try that again. Of course, I'm the last one. Just saying it's coming out so nicely. There we go, maybe. There we go. Sometimes it creates a little vacuum around that neck of the volumetric flask. Okay, and we're ready to do our last dilution. So solution number five has an absorbance of 0 0.99. Okay, so we've now done the five dilutions. The last one that we are going to measure is now our Kool-Aid mixture that we made in part A. How much will be there? So remember, we're trying to determine <clears throat> how much F, D, and C blue dye number one is found inside of our solution. So first thing we want to rinse away Anything we had from our previous one. Okay. And now we're ready to make that final measurement of our absorption of our Kool-Aid mixture. And our absorbance is 0 0.38. And this is the end of experiment 10. Thank you.